How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Steins Gate, my darlings embrace. Who knew that at some point in this story, or in general, that taxes, tax evasion, anything to do with taxes, would come to save the day? Or something like that. I think that's the direction we're headed in in order to defeat 4 degrees Celsius in this world line. Or at least I hope we defeat him somehow. 4 degrees Celsius's intense stare nearly burns a hole through the papers. A series of rather stunning fingers or figures are plastered all over them. Printed in that stack of papers are an assortment of other companies and accounts outside of 4 degrees Celsius's front company. Skillfully crafted dummy companies, personal bank accounts, none of them in 4 degrees Celsius's name, along with a detailed investigation of their cash flow. Four degrees Celsius looks like he's seen a ghost. Seeing this is a chance to strike, I raise my voice. <laughs> a uh, pallid of 4 degrees Celsius glances down at the numbers and then back up at us before finally turning bright red. And then... What is he, a third-rate villain? After dropping his corny final line, he and his goons flee with their tails between their legs. So are we good? Is all is all well? Well, we kind of call that icy hot, but yeah. Not long after driving off 4 degrees Celsius, uh, Mayuri and Ferris are seeing to my wounds. I don't know why I continue to call them by that. It's probably my pettiness. Kirisu, Lukako, and Moika went to the drugstore to buy medicine. Daru returned to the lab to collect more data on 4 degrees Celsius's financials. I had Susaha go, go with them as a bodyguard just in case. Yeah. We say as we, uh, oh wait, I already made this joke. We spit out a tooth, piece of our kidney. One of our ass cheeks falls off. You know, the, the, the deal, the normal, the normal gist of the situation. Ferris has a cold pack pressed to her forehead. Oh, that's right, she did get hit. I mean, it's true. Doesn't matter what world line we're in. <laughs> Lukako and the others open the door, bags of medicine in hand. Wait, what? Yeah, 
何言ってんのあんたそんな場合じゃないでしょさっさとしなさいわやめろ引っ張るな痛い痛い痛い痛い痛い How hurt are we where we have to like rub shit on ourselves? The pain coursing through my body keeps me from putting up much resistance, and Kirisu strips me down like a doll. Yeah, I don't like how Lukaku is also <laughs> blushing here. I, uh, I don't know if I should take that in a good way or a bad way. Ah. <laughs> Can't we have Daru do it? I'd feel more comfortable if、uh, Daru's big sweaty hands were the one, you know, if he was doing this, you know. Probably be a little bit more natural. Before I can even object, Ferris is circled around to my back. She slowly starts rubbing the medicine on. Her thin, gentle fingers tickle a little. <laughs> There's no way I can tell her that it feels good or that it tickles. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hmm. Will this get me banned? Did she just say front? Is this the first time that we've ever seen Okabe shirtless? Like, we've actually, you know, have first time ever seen his body. His fucking. Mad scientist pecs, his chaotic abs. I got nothing else. Ferris and Mayuri surround me, their, mo their moist hands creeping along my body. <laughs> In the course of 30 minutes, we've gone from like. Legitimate disaster or almost legitimate disaster <laughs> to uh, this. <laughs> what a what a turn of events. <laughs> Kirisu still has her back. Oh, excuse me, to me, ears red as she yells. Meanwhile, Lukako is hanging his head down. <laughs> Uh huh. What did he mean by that?、Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna ask. It's best we don't. It's best we leave it as a mystery until we get to his route.、Well, let's talk about the aftermath, shall we? Oh, I'm down for that. Just as planned, after four degrees Celsius's shady cash flow came to light, he found himself in the crosshairs of some terrifying government officials. Rumor has it that his companies are set to, to be under investigation in the near future. To make matters better for us, Moika's later articles would reveal that he did in fact appear to have broken the law on multiple occasions. Thanks to Operation Freya, Maequin Yanyan had started to bounce back, and 4 degrees Celsius in a panic went just a little bit too far in trying to crush us. According to Moika, the evictions in the May Queen Yan Yan building would produce a whole lot of smoke if investigated. You know what they say about, snow <laughs> about smoke, yeah? Yeah, definitely. All of 4 degrees Celsius' backers had abandoned him, and his influence over Akiba was declining rapidly. The day he becomes a hyper whatever producer, in name only, is likely just around the corner. And that, my friends, is how the third Akihabara Maid Cafe War came to a close. 
Was there some sort of, like, intro to that? I can't remember. It's been so long since I actually started this route because I got busy with everything, then I got sick, and then I got even busier. I should really, like, not do that. Older maid cafes that had gone out of business or moved have been slowly returning to their original spots, taking the place of 4 degrees Celsius's businesses. And in a bit of happy news, many of May Queen's regulars have started to come back. As for what us lab mems are up to, uh, well... With Operation Freya complete, our work at May Queen Yan Yan was supposed to have come to an end, but... It would appear as though we've gained quite the fan base among certain crowds, making it a bit difficult to just quit. Uh, uh, ah, so in this world line, we just continue to work here. The Fujoshi army points over at Mayushi Nyanyan, busy serving customers at another table. <laughs> gotta gotta keep it under control here. Damn you all, I am not his beloved. Lukako's expression is oddly serious. My head aching from all of this, I flee from the area as soon as I can. Spotting our hell maid tormenting some of her slip I'm uh, customers, think Daru, at another table. Damn, she really just fucking goes hard. Uh, Christina? Is it just my imagination, or do you seem to be enjoying this far more than when you first started? No, this can't be. Don't tell me you've opened se- uh, No, the gate to some strange and terrifying world? Yeah, there's only one person that can open the Stein's Gate. Go. Standing around a customer's table, Suzuha is scolding her troublesome big sister. I guess that's the only way that she can continue to work here is if they play that role. This is yet another famous combination that's come into existence here at May Queen Yan Yan. In fact, they're so popular that they've already taken on the roles as sisters. Hell, we have customers that just sit back and smile as they enjoy watching the two go back and forth. Almost like a comedy act. And finally, who can forget our star performer, Daru, in a penguin suit. Was so poorly received that he only lasted a single day. Wait, what happened? 
The day the costume was completed, Penguin Daru went off to Chuadori to hand out flyers. And yeah, he was a big hit with the ladies. They'd all get real cozy talking about how cute he was. And some of these girls would even hug him. Unfortunately, those same hugs caused him to grow overexcited, resulting in him passing out with a terrible nosebleed. Uh, the bleeding was so bad that eventually the penguin was soaked in blood, like something out of a horror movie. This zombie penguin of his has already become, <laughs> become a bit of an urban legend here in Akiba, and will likely be passed on to future generations. Wow. Now that's right, there's one thing I forgot to mention. Oh hey, 50% CG achievement. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We managed to finish shooting and editing the PV for Mei Queen Yan Yan. It's already up on streaming sites. It goes without saying that its overall quality is below substandard, but nonetheless, it's being warmly received thanks to the main heroines, Luka Kozagai, uh, performance, along with the rest of the women that appeared in it. As for me, well, I'm popular with the Fujishi crowd, as usual. The men, on the other hand, all hate my guts. It's gotten hard to deal with, so I stopped looking at internet comments. Oh, and I'm not the only victim, either. Apparently, Kirisu has been telling herself that since the PV was for a tiny maid cafe in Akiba, there's no way it would make the rounds. However, her university professors managed to find it with no problem, and apparently enjoyed it quite a bit. They ended up sending the video around via a mailing list. By the time Kirisu noticed it, uh, it was too late, and now she's famous around the campus for her second name, Akihabara Maid Girl. To make matters worse, folks are trying to get her to dance at some kind of Samba event in the States next month. They want her to wear her cat ears and maid outfit, of course. And so Kirisu is constantly having to deal with emails from the States, day in and day out. Every now and then you can hear her muttering things like, I said I'm not going to dress up as a maid, or I don't know how to dance the Samba. And that's about the long and short of it. It may be gradual, but the wounds received during the war are slowly starting to heal. Which is good. <sighs> Ferris and I worked the late shift today, so we were the last ones in the cafe. I decided to walk her back to her place before heading to the lab. We're walking through Akiba together. Four degrees Celsius has vanished from Akiba. He's supposedly on the run, but there's no guarantee that he won't come for Ferris seeking revenge. Of course, Ferris isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I made sure to tell all the other girls, Lukako included, to not go anywhere alone at night. なんだ。びっくりしたにゃ。いや、俺もそう思うぞ。フェイリスが賑やかにしているとは。なんだかこっちまで楽しい気持ちになる。そっかにゃ。あ。にゃ。にゃんだかてれちゃんにゃ。
I noticed Ferris's speaking mannerisms have changed and turned to look at her. There, I didn't find Ferris Nyanyan, but Rumiho, the ordinary high school girl. Her cat ears are gone. Ferris? どんなに苦しくても、どんなに泣きたくっても、お願い、助けてって言える人が王子様がいなかったの。王子様。ごめん。本当は私。Ah, shucks. Same here. Ferris bashfully raises the corners of her mouth a little. The breeze blows yet again. It's soft and gentle, and Ferris's twin tails sway from side to side. And then suddenly Ferris stops in place, looking up at me. I instinctively stop as well, looking down at her. Our gazes intertwine, drawn to each other. I can see Ferris's cheeks start to redden, her eyes glistening. Hmm? <laughs> Ferris pauses in hesitation. Her clear jade eyes remain unmoving as though she's trying to peer deep into my soul. And then... Yeah, but we heard the name. We ain't under no spell. And we never fell in love. We're only in love with science. My heart starts racing as I reply to her. I feel like the pitch of my voice has gone up too. <laughs> Ferris slowly brings her face close to mine. She's standing on her tiptoes, the distance between us is so small that our faces would touch if either of us moved. Everything around us has stopped. The only place where time flows is the space between our gazes. I can feel her warmth as she clings tightly to me. It's almost as if she's the only person that exists in this entire world. Is this heartbeat my own or is it hers? And then... I can see the tears beginning to well in Ferris's eyes. These tiny beads of light quickly grow larger on the verge of rolling down her cheeks. Well, now, now she's like guilt tripping us. <sighs> ah. And then, Rumiho's lips cover mine. This mysterious feeling is warm, sweet, and yet somehow. Uh, heart trending? Heart rending? Let's go with that. It melts between our lips. We're not even like kissing back, though. He's like. His mouth is avoiding it. <laughs> Our lips continue to seek each other for some time and chanted with one another.
and at last we slowly pull away. <laughs> Ferris sticks her red tongue out from between the lips she had just kissed me with and promptly leaps back. And then she quickly re-equips her cat ears. You know, it was going in a great direction, but then this happened. Back to her usual hijinks, she loudly declares her motto. No, 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 we're only a servant to the chaos. Ferris whips her twin tails as she turns around and starts to run. I chase right after her. <laughs> Ferris and I wear big smiles on our faces as we race through the labyrinth of alleyways. Amidst the flood of neon lights, the buildings of Akiba quietly look down upon us. Tomorrow, this town will once again be filled with its usual hustle and bustle. Tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after that. This town will continue to be a fun place open to any and all. A place that will continue to burst with dreams and hope for all to see. Just like the smile this mischievous little cat is wearing as she runs ahead of me. And as my mind races with these thoughts, I continue to chase after that little cat forever. Ah yes, chasing after that pussy. I feel that brother. Amen. God bless America. Uh oh. Copyrighted music. Okay, whew, that was close. Alrighty, so we got the Heavens... Ne, ne, whatever the fuck that says. Got that achievement. A new item added to tips, new wallpaper added to the phone triggers. I don't, I don't remember that all happening last time. But then again, it seems like it's a year every time, or a year goes by every time I finish up a route, so who the hell knows. But I will be jumping into another one very soon, and by very soon, I mean probably tomorrow or the next day. Just get back to it. Don't really have the, uh, the time to just, you know, dilly-dally, I guess, as I continue to record, uh, Steins Gate, uh, Linear Bandit Phenogram, so lots of Steins Gate going on. But that was a fun, fun route, I will say. Ferris is definitely not one of my favorite characters, and neither was Moika, and Moika's route was pretty okay. I actually did enjoy it, despite it being a little weird at times, and also because of Moika. And yeah, Ferris, I find annoying, not really all that enjoyable, at least for me. But I would be lying if I said that I didn't enjoy it. That shit was cute at times. And it was a neat little story, too. Any time that we get a C4 degrees Celsius fail is a good time. But I also just, like, my blood pressure rises whenever he's involved in a story, I swear. But anyways, thank you all for watching this episode, and thank you for the patience. If, if you had some for this one, if you were watching these episodes as they came out, I am so sorry for just how separated these all were and how I cut them up and all that. I could have done better, and hopefully I will be able to do better as I am now free from finals, free from being sick, and now I just work every day besides the weekends. So yeehaw on that one. Hopefully I am able to dedicate more time here. What is new in the tips menu, by the way? I forgot to look at that. Um, this is the first time that we're here. Uh, new. Uh, Rynet Kakeru access numbers, huh? Is this what's new? Or... No, no, no. Those were actually brought up, right? Those were... I, I can't remember. Fuck me. Oh, I know all those. Uh, who cares? Symbol? Okay, that channel. 
Maybe that's what was new? They just gave us new stuff to look at? What's the mail list? Oh, okay, so... Oh, okay, this is actually kind of cool. I dig this. You can actually see conversations. I don't think the other games allow you to do this. There's probably a whole bunch that I missed. That's very neat. And there's like the different, you know, routes that you could have gone down. That's, that's pretty tight. I dig that. Okay. Super tight. Super tight. All right, movie library is pretty uh, pretty straightforward. I'm just getting my achievements for opening these because I guess I never really did. So why not just get my achievements going through all these different libraries? Apparently, we're 50% done here with the CGs. Ah, oh, yeah, my favorite scene right there. Oh, there's extra ones. Oh, okay, yeah, this is this is an extra right here. That's cool. Or at least I think that's an extra. That's one that we have not seen before, so I'm just gonna call it an extra. I'm not seeing any others that I have not seen yet, so... I think that was the only one that was, uh, technically something that wasn't in the story. I think so. Okay, well that was neat. And the clear list. Which we are, you know, still, still working up on. Album achievement rate now at 51%. I have acquired only five tips. That's all I've looked at, obviously. Four more routes to go, but I would like to say that we're almost halfway done. So we have Suzuha's route. We have Lukako's route, unfortunately. And Mayuri's. So what's the other one? Is there like a true route or something? I would like to... Uh, Hopefully find out, you know, as we continue on here. But we'll wrap it up here. Thank you all again for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we will jump into yet another route. Whose will it be? I don't really know. I'll see you guys then.